This was supposed to be the quiet season on the refugee and migrant trail. But tell that to the sodden masses crossing the river Sutle into Slovenia in the dead of night in freezing cold water. <laughs> This is what happens when migration stops being organized. A mixture of mainly Syrian, Iraqi and Afghan refugees, they all try to enter the EU through Croatia. But Croatia wouldn't have them and sent them on to Slovenia. For now, for them, this is Europe's Rio Grande. The river is very cold, the water is heading here after that. You know, the way is very big, for that we decided to come in here. And he says, that's the water is here. We need a help, we need a dress, we need a food. And remember, the clothes that are now soaked like sponges are probably the only clothes that they possess. After they've wrung out everything that holds water, the march continues, heading north, heading to Germany. Eventually, they hope. Those who've made it across the river end up here, first of all on the floor in Slovenia, waiting. Politics is throwing up more and more obstacles to their journey. Gradually, the barriers are coming down all around fortress Europe, and the cold weather isn't exactly helping. Hence the campfires, and on this occasion, the camps that catch fire. And everywhere you see migrants and refugees, you now also see soldiers from the host nation. Bit by bit, week by week, Europe's borders are being militarized in response to this human flood, and its alluring affluence feels more and more under siege. More than a thousand miles away, in a part of Europe where the sun still shines, more arrivals today. A small group of just over a hundred, as well as more soldiers, British ones. This is the British base in Akrotiri, a small outcrop of British territory in Cyprus, from where the RAF is flying bombing raids into Iraq. They arrived by boat this morning, but like ancient mariners in a world without maps, they had no idea where they had landed. They told us with, uh, that we are going to Germany. Greece, then Greece, Macedonia, Estonia, these countries, and go to Germany. We don't have an idea that we'll come to uh, this country. Next question, whose responsibility are they? Britain or Cyprus? Neither side is putting their hand up in a rush, and the place they want to end up in is called Germany anyway. If they carry on walking, wading, boating or trekking in a northeasterly direction, this is what they might well see. Dawn in a Serbian potato field. With a blanket for a home, and the prospect of more and more borders slammed shut in a year that has seen three quarters of a million refugees and migrants arrive in Europe. From Hungary to Croatia to Slovenia, Europe is increasingly sending one message. There's no more room at the end.